13 Action News Update sponsored by Bell Medical. I'm Todd Quinones and right now in your 13 Action News Update, Governor Steve Sisolak is found to be at fault for a Las Vegas crash that he was involved in. Uh, police making that finding and citing both Sisolak and the other driver involved. Sisolak was cited for failing to yield to oncoming traffic. The other driver involved was cited for speeding. The crash happened Sunday at Rainbow and Russell. Sisolak's office said him and the driver of the other car had minor injuries. The Vegas Loop taking a big step toward expansion today. Clark County Commissioners unanimously approving plans to dig more tunnels under the Las Vegas Valley. The Boring Company, owned by Elon Musk, wants to have 63 stops all across the valley. Well, Nevada's struggling unemployment system will get a big boost, all thanks to a big check from the federal government. More than $330 million from the American Rescue Plan will be used to pay back what Nevada borrowed from the federal government and unemployment trust fund. Well, on top of that, some $54 million will go towards upgrading the unemployment system. Throughout the pandemic, Nevada's sky-high unemployment rate overwhelmed the system. Upgrades are needed to stop fraud and also make claims processing much faster. Dieter also wants to move to a cloud-based system so they can make updates and test new features more quickly. Partly cloudy and calm tonight. We do cool off quickly once the sun sets. Expect upper 60s by about 8 p.m. But the wind speed, not all that noticeable. Just the cooler conditions taking us into Thursday morning. Highs will continue to warm up. We're back to the upper 70s under a partly to mostly cloudy sky on Thursday and low 80s by Friday. The breeze returns this weekend, knocking highs back to the mid 70s. But dry conditions continue. Our next chance for rain arrives Monday night. Danny, thank you. And that was your 13 Action News update.